Hello guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. It's me DK over here. So today is a craft video and we will be crafting this pencil or, or holder over here. Uh, so uh, you can see over here. And I have used color paper and in the bottom I have used cardboard. So the cardboard, um, uh, cardboard I'll, not, I'll not be showing in this video. Uh, maybe I'll be showing. Uh, so you can do this with plain paper or with color paper so I have taken over here color paper and this is an example how it will be looking and let's get on to the video so for the color papers I have used uh, six I mean you need uh, six different color if your color papers if you're using uh, color, the colored ones and if you're using plain paper also you need six so I have using I'm using yellow uh, light pink then dark green and this is like uh, uh, light green so much light green and red and then blue so let's get started so for making this first you need to make this rectangle sheet uh, into a square so and i have one more tip i prefer you do the first time if you're seeing this video if you're, you're doing it uh, you start doing it the first time with plain paper so that you don't need to waste the color paper and after that once you have understood how to make it then you can start doing with the color paper so for making this this uh, rectangle paper a square we obviously make this a triangle like this then over here we can make it like this then the rest part that's over here you can see if you can see the rest part we can cut it out so after cutting this part out please don't forget don't throw it we need it this at last part so other people use uh, more color papers for the last part for making the one inside over here so you can see this is another paper that i've kept inside so for making that other people use um, and uh, different color papers so uh, for saving color papers or uh, in paper that you're using i just keep this thing aside we will need we may need it later after that open the square that you have got just ignore the line uh, it's, it's not a problem and then we need to make it into half uh, like this make it half this way so you might want to check this side if it's correct the joining part over here so after that uh, open it again so when you have made the uh, middle uh, the part that is uh, closed turn it uh, 190 degree then again close it so from the both sides you need to uh, make it half So after that, uh, once you have made it, then you need to open it. So you may get a plus in the middle like this, a plus. After that, what you need to do is, uh, this side, you need to make it again a half. Like this. To the uh, middle, middle part. After that you might get one like this and then you open it, you twist it 90 degrees again. Then you close this part like we have done it before. You close it to the middle. You need two parts like this. So uh, first time when you are making this won't be exact. So just don't worry when you are like not, uh, it's uh, not okay and all. Uh, you can try it again. So if you are not getting it correct, you can just rewind and check. After that, uh, when you, so once you open it, you can see there are so many squares over here. Then what you need to do is, take the corners, take the corners, then just uh, fold it like this, in a, a half triangle way. Fold it, uh, fold it to the part, to this part uh, and this part, for to, to that line. You, you might get one like this. Then twist it 90 degrees and do that to every corner. 
like this so it should be a half triangle if you get one side like this then fold third corner and then fold the fourth corner so should do all the steps so that you can get it accurate uh, in that small box of box of squares once you have done all the four corners you might get one like this all the four corners uh, folded then what you need to do is take any uh, position like this or like this then fold it into half fold it into half so you, you might get one like this a v shape over here it's an opening and a v shape uh, like a v shape upside down then what you need to do is you have the uh, a cut or a part that is folded over here fold it like this so that it's like um, what can we say it's like a shirt or anything like that just fold it in the mid half mid half then what you need to do is you need to keep the paper like this so this uh, v this going is uh, uh, facing the left side and uh, you need to keep it like this then you should keep it aside so um, the thing that i uh, for the thing that uh, we kept it like this and keeping it aside i'll show you in the later uh, late at the we after we have done all the color papers so let's get to the next color paper so for the next one i have taken over here the dark green uh, we can just keep it aside and also don't forget we need this the paper that we uh, made the square before so we need to make this one also a square like we made the last one so everything includes the same step and i'll show you why why, why we need the down part just make it a half triangle then cut the down square part out after that don't throw this one obviously then just keep it aside then you have a square okay so i'm showing the second time so if anyone uh, has uh, doubts so i'm showing the second color paper also and uh, there's one more point no need to copy the colors that i have taken you can uh, take your own colors mm, but and when you're doing just be careful and follow all the steps so and like we did the last time fold it into half from one side so after we have folded just make it accurate and little pointy and then open it and uh, fold the paper half uh, into half from the other side the same steps as the last one so it's very simple pencil holder to make and uh, uh, so this we can keep our color pens uh, pencil holder we just call it like that we can keep our color pencils and sketch painting brush etc like that and it's very useful for you okay after that you might get this plus then you need to fold this into half to the middle part so uh, as i were told in the starting of the video st do with plain paper first and if you're in a bit of a hurry ask if you can ask your parents also for to help you and if you have anything for a project or something like that after that fold uh, turn 90 degree then fold the other side to the middle so if you do this with plain paper in the first you will just get a bit of experience how to do it and uh, uh, then you can understand like uh, yeah this is okay and uh, so that you won't make mistakes when you do the second or the third time you can get it perfectly done so i have tried this for so much time then only it can be so much accurate perfect after that you have when you have got like this a square so many square some boxes over here and in the whole uh, square paper then fold the corners Uh, the uh, corner box uh, fold the corner box into a half triangle like this you can see this line and the list line so fold it to there after that turn 90 degrees then take the next one and again turn 90 degrees and then the next one 
third one done and after that take the fourth one also and turn it so after that you might get uh, the paper the square paper like this if you got it that's right so let's continue then we should fold this like uh, this some people make mistakes some might, some might fold them like this uh, but uh, there's a problem when it comes to the end so fold it cover the uh, triangles and it might should not see like this so fold it like this way and so that you get a V that is upside down in the uh, bottom part and a V uh, that's facing correct ways in the upper part then fold this up like this as I was shown in the last one also uh, the fold it in half fold it in half then you can get like so a t-shirt shape or something like that then keep it aside don't do anything and also keep this paper with it so i'll i'll be time lapsing next other all the other color papers the uh, so i just want to don't want to prolong the video so let's time lapse it So I have made all uh, the color paper into the form that we needed so as you can see over here and I have kept all the remains of the rectangle that we made into the square so, so I hope you guys also have also made it if you haven't uh, got it and I have any doubt just go and rewind and go watch the uh, video. So now comes the little bit tricky part just take any uh, color then what you need to do just take one color so just take uh, any one I'll take the red one so it's a little dark and you can see it so you can see a, a, a edge that we can fold over here a line what you need to do is take the rest piece of the uh, the leftover piece of the rectangle that we had for uh, made into a square then what you need to do is put the oh, you need to put uh, that the line which I showed you in the bottom then you should what you need to do is take a pencil okay if you can see okay. take a pencil then mark out this place which has to be cut this place so over here you can see I have a, a rough sketch of that over here then what we need to do is we need to cut this part out the one we sketched to cut this part out so sometimes uh, it can be a little small and so don't worry but you need to just try it properly then you can get it so after that we have this one so don't throw this it's important and this one we can just keep it uh, keep it aside and then let's do every every uh, leftover of the rectangle like that Over here you can see I have uh, made all the cutouts and I hope that you also got it ready so it cannot be sometimes a perfect size and shape so don't worry I may all make mistake mis mistake mistakes sorry then uh, you just keep this aside and what you need to do is now it's a little bit tricky but uh, also simple take the ones we folded like a V that I told you in the first part 
then just open it and you can see the line that we made uh, we started making for this one just fold it like that in that position okay now the down part also if you can see that uh, edge that we need to fold just do this and you can get uh, an accurate one if like this if you got it it's the right way you you have done then uh, you need to just keep it aside after that uh, then we need to do all these ones all the ones that we folded i told you right as a we then uh, this it's so it's this this folding is so simple you just need to check the line then fold it or maybe it's like folding in half and that one so the blue is also ready Yeah, I have made all the things that I showed in the time lapse and let's get started the making the last one so last time we folded it like this and now what you need to do is you need to fold it uh, you we fold it in the half part so you need to fold it like this uh, in the edge one part. so then uh, you need to fold both sides and after that so uh, when you are checking uh, yours will be like this and then you, what you need to do is just take the last edge if it, the line you can see over here and fold it and fold the rest of it after that uh, it's now the tricky part that's coming so i uh, we had to cut out all these parts like this and uh, then we are going to make the pattern like the ones inside if you're using the color paper you can get the pattern if you're using the plain paper just uh, put it and uh, check if you're getting it accurate or perfectly then you can check so when you're making the pattern over here you can use the light uh, light out outside and the dark inside or the uh, mm, dark outside and light inside so it's up to you you can use any pattern but it should be like um, uh, matching each other so first when you're taking the blue one i will be taking over here the pink so what you need to do is uh, you need to put this uh, one inside this column over here slowly and gently if you put it like this you can see in this part over here you can put it and now what you need to do is this is a little bit tricky but it's simple you need to put this part inside over here and this part inside over here okay once you've got all inside just gently push it from both the sides one by one so it uh, will take some time uh, when you're doing the first time and uh, it's uh, it can it'll be very easy when you start doing uh, the rest of them so over here sometimes sometimes you may have a gap here and here so it doesn't matter if you're doing so after that just um, level it out and you have the first toe. so it is a nice pattern over here so and it looks good with the blue and the outside a dark color inside a bit of light color so next we have the red I'm taking the red and for the red I'm taking uh, a light color so that's uh, this light green if you can see and I'm putting it inside again so uh, you can put the right side but uh, I prefer the left side is more easy so just put it inside in this column and in this column and just gently push it inside so uh, it will take some time for this if you have patience it's very easy then just gently put it inside after that uh, I showed you what to do I'll show one more time then you need to put this one here and this one over here then you need to push it slowly gently so after you have done one or two times it will be very easy and uh, it's very it will be very perfect come come perfectly for you so we have the second one and let's do the rest so i have uh, attached all the parts together the red with the light green and the blue with the pink then the light green the red and uh, the yellow with the green so yellow with the green i especially uh, like this color the this matching of the color it's uh, more of my like pattern then over here 
we have the dark green with the yellow then with the pink with the blue now what we need to do is glue all this together so make sure you have six of them so when you glue this together uh, you can follow any pattern you can keep them in a separate way that you wish so after that you need to glue everything together then let's glue it in three one minute okay ready all right come here where are you going you also need to be a friend of this team so in three two one so over here we have it done so the below part it will be not uh, it will be like a holes when you make it after gluing it together you can glue it with super glue or um, your uh, normal glue the one like this so i i i, I did i did do this so super glue it's, uh, both are the same but super glue is more easy uh, when you uh, combat them but both are both the sticky ways both the same so and you can use a cardboard to perfect this one and that's it for today's video guys i'll see you in the next video until then goodbye